All right, today we're gonna go over exactly how to get that chest growing. And as you can tell by this thing that looks like one of those leash backpacks that crappy parents use so they don't lose their kids at the mall, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna just tell you to keep your shoulders back. I'm gonna go over the exact methods and exercises that I've done that's made a dramatic difference at pulling those shoulders back, keeping those anterior delts out of any pressing movement and making sure my chest is doing all the work. So if you're ready, let's get fucking after it. So if you're somebody that's constantly fighting to keep your shoulders out of every single chest day, then you're gonna need more than just 30 minutes or even an hour to strengthen those muscles involved in pulling those shoulders back and down or trying to stretch and relax those overactive ones because the remaining 23 hours of the day, you're gonna derail any progress you make with your shitty posture. And I've seen all the adorable names people use to help describe each individual issue, like the forward head or the rounded shoulders or the hunched back, but let's call it like it is. From the side, your posture, Looks like a curved dick. And I'm just as guilty. Last year, I developed a bad case of curved D posture syndrome because just like everybody else, I sat in front of the computer and did most of my work. And then slowly over time, my shoulders rolled forward to where that was the only comfortable position. Not only did it hinder my ability to make progress with my chest, but it also wreaked havoc in other ways as well. And this one was a tough one to figure out because if you look online, you'll find a ton of exercises for thoracic mobility and different exercises to improve your posture, but you'll quickly realize they're not all created equal. And the bigger you get, the harder it is to undo the damage you've done. So let's go over the ones that actually work. Side note, next time you go to the grocery store, check how many curved dicks there are walking around. It's quite a few. All right, let's break this down into four simple steps. First, we're gonna fix the inflexibility of that thoracic spine. It's gonna open up that chest and actively drive those shoulders back. Next, we're gonna fix that forward head posture, which is an inevitability when your shoulders are constantly rolled forward. We're gonna go over my favorite exercise for that serratus anterior, just in case you're getting some winging in that scapula. And finally, how to make sure your posture is continually getting better over time, which to our ultimate goal, is gonna help us build a bigger chest. All right, grab your foam roller and I categorize this under thoracic mobility, but it does so much more than that because it opens up that chest, pulls those shoulders back, but also engages the muscles that are responsible for keeping those shoulders back, like the mid, low traps, those rhomboids. And because we're flexing over top of the foam roller, it's gonna help break up some of those knots that you're definitely gonna have from those shoulders being rolled forward and those muscles constantly being in a stretched position. They're gonna knot up, try to protect themselves, and it's gonna hurt like hell. So you're gonna do this in a step-by-step -step process to figure out where you have the most tightness. Now you're gonna interlock your fingers, lay over top of that foam roller, Close those elbows together to really stretch all those muscles and then open up those elbows and flex around the foam roller. Now you can either do this by holding it for 30 seconds at the top of each rep, or you can actually just do it for reps and slowly open and close, engage those muscles, and then work up that thoracic spine. Did I mention this sucks? So if you've had any experience with that forward head position, then you've definitely heard of chin tucks, but for me, they had no effect. So I started reaching out to different manual therapists until one of them said, you know what? With that Neanderthal neck, you're gonna need the adult version of this. To do this, you're gonna need a towel or a shirt. You're gonna wrap it around the back of your neck and hold it with one hand and provide just a little bit of resistance. From there, you do a chin tuck like normal. And once you get that chin all the way retracted, you're gonna use that off thumb to provide even more resistance. May seem like a subtle difference, but that little bit of extra resistance really increases the stretch. I just realized as I was filming this, never do this in public. I've done it at the gym before, now I regret that because you look like a real weirdo. This thing, doesn't look good. So the reason I'm including a serratus anterior exercise is because as somebody who's had issues with it in the past, you quickly learned that this muscle is fucking vital. They're not like testicles. You could lose one of those to a rageful hooker and other than the psychological damage, you'd be no worse off. And the best way I found to engage this muscle is by putting that foam roller on the wall, putting a little pressure from your wrist. And as you drive up, you wanna keep those shoulders back and down and also feel like you're driving the elbow into the foam roller. And at any point, if you wanna advance the exercise a little bit, just back those feet up and it'll make it even harder. Which brings me to this guy. And you can easily just throw this onto the gym. It'll help pull those shoulders back and you'll immediately get more engagement out of that chest, but that's not how I use it. I use it at home when I'm sitting in front of the computer for a long period of time to help retrain my body how to stay in a better position and it fucking works. There is one caveat though. If you're gonna do it my way, you're gonna wanna flip it upside down. That way you can use those handles to pull underneath your lats, position it so it's not only pulling your shoulders back, it's also pulling them down. So I know if you fix your posture, you're no longer gonna worry about, are my shoulders back enough? Is my chest tall? Because it's already gonna be in that position and you're gonna to start to get that chest to grow. I'll leave a link to the bow tie because it does make a dramatic difference. And if you haven't got a chance to check out the 30 day program, it's 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks, pretty damn simple. And if you do suffer from this, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video, how to make your entire trap training more efficient. And most importantly, subscribe, hit that notification bell, 
and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.